hey guys thank you for coming to my channel if you're watching this video i want to say happy holidays to everybody happy 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 <coughs> happy 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 holiday um i am sick and my daughter is sick as you can hear her coughing in the background uh we're both like under the weather i'm fighting off my cold as much as i can <laughs> uh oh i got some garlic on the stove i got it on low fire though okay i'm good I've been eating cloves of garlic. We listened to some binaural beats, uh, healing binaural beats last night. I think it made a difference. Um, so anyway, I came on here because um, I wanted to show you um, some candles, some um, candle magic that you can work on uh, to bring in a new year. Um, for those, for my blue hives and blue holes out there, my, my urban mystics out there, I know that, you know, um, Right now, when you go to the Botanica, uh, you know, everybody has the Nueve Años candles. You know, you got the New Year's candles. You have the New Year's candle kits that come with the candle, the bath, the water, the perfume, the incense, right? The spiritual water. You know, um, usually you start to see the, those things like a little bit after like, um, I want to say like late November, like after Thanksgiving, you'll start to see them. Um, and in case you ain't noticed, that shit is so expensive. Um, these kits are like $50, $40. Um, like I said, the kits come with different stuff. Like, uh, kits could come, it always comes with a candle. Almost always comes with a candle. It comes with like a candle, uh, a oil, uh, a stick incense, right? Then, uh, some of them will come with those three, but they'll come like with the talisman, you know, a prayer card, um, and some type of like liquid perfume, right? <clears throat> so, um, if you want to do something that's cost effective, and this is for my, you know, blue house and blue house on a budget, um, I highly suggest that you wait till after New Year's, right? Do something simple like this, and I'll explain <coughs> what these candles are for, but. I highly suggest that you wait till after New Year's. Let me tell you why. Because right now, uh, like at my my um local botanicas, uh, they have the New Year's candles that's this size, and it's like fucking thirty dollars for this candle. I swear to God, like twenty thirty dollars. And then they have the jumbo version, which is kind of like three of these in one, a, a jumbo candle. And the jumbo candles are going for um, $30, uh, $30, $30 to $40. And the kits are pretty much high, high like that too. So you don't want to, like, if you have the money, I mean, go for it. But if you want to uh, wait, if you want more bang for your buck, I suggest that you wait until after new year's because after new year's within that whole month of january and february these new new year's eve candles are still going to be in stock and most of the time they mark it down depending on the botanica that you go to they mark it down so what's forty dollars by january it's going to be twenty dollars or twenty five dollars so that's what i have been doing over the years i would wait till after new year's like a week or two later and then I would go go back to the botanica and every all the new year stuff would be marked down. So I still I still burn um new year's eve candles in January, February and March to be honest with you cuz it's still the beginning of the year, it's the first 3 months of the year and especially within the month of January people say people say <coughs> happy new year. People, you okay? People say happy new years um like throughout the whole month of january and then by february people stop saying happy new years so you can still <coughs> burn you can still you know utilize that and like i said it's gonna be half price they're gonna mark it down like 50 percent, 50 to maybe 60 percent or whatever so yeah wait until after new year's and then you could stock up on and it, like i said it'll be half off price and you'll get to stock up on all the new year's stuff that would be the time to get it especially around tax season when you get your money that's the time you want to buy a whole bunch of new year's eve uh kits okay now let me show you what i have so i decided to go to the botanica and i wanted to keep my budget <coughs> under twenty dollars and i did all of these this is a purple candle um, all of these right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, all of these were 
um, it came up to nineteen dollars and ninety nine cent. Okay, no nineteen dollars and nineteen cents. Nineteen nineteen. Ooh, that must be a angel number. I'm gonna have to look that up. But anyway, so if you want to keep things simple for now, like in the meantime, in between time, while you wait for the prices to go down on those New Year's Eve candle kits, um, here's some candles that'll be really good for you to start burning now. Um, okay. So, uh, the first candle that I have, this one's just a purple one. This one is for, um, for me, uh, purple is good for, uh, psychic protection, psychic awareness, psychic development. So I'm burning this candle to further develop my, um, psychic abilities, my intuition. Um, it's also good, uh, for domination and this is good for like spirituality. Okay. To develop your spirituality. Um, now of course you want to cleanse yourself because of all the residual energy that we collected throughout this whole year. We want to start off 2020, which is a totally new decade. We want to start it off right. So you definitely want to get you a cleansing candle. That'll be probably the first thing that you want to get. So this is Olympias candle. So it says cleansing against bad luck, witchcraft, hexes, spells. So it's the same thing in Espanol. Um, this is kind of like, it's a cleansing for yourself, your businesses, your home. Um, look, look, I say it eliminates hex against money, work. Okay. Um, you definitely want to get a cleansing candle. Um, I got this in multiple colors. They have this in white. They have it in red. They have it in green. If you want to be cleansed, you know, your money situation to be cleansed. You know, uh, if you want your love situation to be cleansed, you use red. So just like, you know, once you know what the colors mean spiritually, um, then you know what candles to get, like what, what kind of colors to get. I decided this time to, um, this is my second Olympias candle. My other one already burned and it was, it came out clear, <coughs> a little fogginess in the middle, but it came out clear. So I just want to burn another one. But again, you want to burn a, uh, Olympias, a cleansing candle, um, so that you can start off 2020 the right way. You want to clean all that energetic sludge, all the negativity, all that stuff that has accumulated throughout this whole year. You want to start off fresh. Now, instead of Olympia's candle, they also have, um, um, the, uh, Ajo Macho, which is the garlic candle. <coughs> Excuse us. We're just coughing away. You can use the ajo macho, the, the male garlic candle, which is also good uh, for cleansing. Let me see what other ones that's good for cleansing. Um, you can use like maybe um, <coughs> witchcraft removal, um, go away evil, remove evil. Um, you can probably use <coughs> uncrossing. Uh, yeah, uncrossing, uh, go away evil. Um, against harm whatever um but i would highly suggest you just get this one okay because this one knocks it all out you know um the second candle and i got oh yeah sorry so i i decided to get multiple uh colors um because each color you can attack a certain area in your life right so those who are not familiar with that with the color scheme <coughs> How this works in candle magic green this is to cleanse your finances orange this is um for <clears throat> excuse me orange this is for like uh this is for like uh, attraction right so if you haven't been attracting the things that you want you've been attracting bad this is to cleanse you into that area uh you have this yellow this could be for healing too like san lagazo um healing but it also can mean like a creativity courage this is like um, the chakra <coughs> that is about confidence and courage, creativity, things like that. Um, so uh, the sacral chakra, right? And so you want to cleanse that area. This one is about health, mental health, spiritual health, physical health for healing, right? For healing, for peace. Um. You also have the red. The red is for like, uh, it could be for love, 
passion protection to cleanse you in that area if you feel like you're not you need, if you feel like uh you haven't been getting what you need in the love department or you've been a victim of 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 um hexes and and curses and evil eye that put a damper on your protection okay the purple just like i said for my purple candle is for spiritual development psychic awareness for domination and white is for <coughs> purity cleansing and can be a substitute for any of these so definitely get you one of these okay now the next candle i have is the seven veces reversible sometimes you'll you'll see the one that has the um santa morte the holy death um uh, this one didn't um uh, this one has two different colors. This one is black and red. Black is a very powerful color. Don't ever be scared to use black candles. I love burning black candles, okay? Black candles will take care of shit for you. Um, so, and then we have red. And this is to, this is for reversible. This is to reverse any type of energies, um, negative uh, energy that's been thrown at you. Curses, hexes, evil eye, you know, bad wishes, ill intentions, things of that nature. This is what's going to help you. See, it says, um, regresa todo lo malo. That's to return the bad energy. <coughs> and uh, recibe solo lo bueno is to uh, receive the good. So return the bad, receive the good. And um, destruye enemigos, that is to destroy your enemies. So that's to return the shit that they throw at you, bring in the good. You know what I'm saying? That transmutation. Take that bad energy that they get, that they sent you, reverse it, turn it into good energy for you to receive it, and you destroy your enemies in the process. This is, this is stronger than the average reversible candle because we have the basic reversible candle and they have double reversible candle. Then they have triple reversible candle, which I haven't honestly seen triple <laughs> reversible candles like that. Um, at least not at my, um, local botanicas. I'm probably going to have to go to like Pico over there, like in downtown LA to get the triple. Cause you don't really see triple. You'll see the regular reversible. You'll see the doble double reversible you'll see that but you don't really see triple but i was lucky enough to come across seven vessels so this one is um, a lot more powerful seven times reversible it's almost similar to this one right here okay um so yes so important thing is to cleanse yourself and to return all bad uh to return all bad uh uh bad energy back to its source okay all right, so now that we, after we focus on cleansing and after we focus on on um, reversing, we want to focus on what we want to bring in, right? Because we this is about getting things out, removing things. It's about cleansing and removal, right? So now we want to focus on what we want to draw in. So what we want to draw in, oh wait, hold on. You know what? This will make sense, right? <coughs> oh gosh. So this is about cleansing. This is about returning that same energy. And this is about protection. This is going to protect you from all the things that you cleansed yourself from. This is going to protect you from all the things that you've returned back to the enemies. You feel me? This is going to protect you. Look at all the stuff that's back there. I think I've already had this in one of my other videos. But look at all of the things that it protects you from. Seven times reversible and seven times seven. Uh, you want to burn this candle when all the other candles ain't working, like the rompe bloque, like the blockbuster candles, the road opener candles. If they just not working for you, you want to get something a little stronger. So seven by seven, this is to uh, obtain your desire, uh, obtain your desires, and um, to bring in a more favorable outcome by removing those obstacles out your way. All right, so we focus on cleansing, returning that energy. And protecting yourself from what we cleansed ourselves from. Now we want to focus on what we want to draw in. Okay? And this is how we get prepared for the new year. So we can start the new year the right way. Alright? So I love the horseshoe. I love the uh, symbolism. This is why I love getting this candle. Um, 
as you can see this is the sun and this has all the sun signs here uh, this is for love what is this right here mm. oh the tree of life it's for love success health uh, spiritual abilities I forgot what that one means um triumph for gold for your destiny good luck healing this is an all-around good candle this is gonna give you luck in many areas this is um, the uh, fast luck candle double fast luck candle so this is more powerful than the regular double of uh, the regular uh, fast luck candle this will give you fast luck in all the areas oh well <laughs> that's what it meant this will give you um luck quick fast and a motherfucking hurry in all of those areas okay in love money whatever it's just an all-around good candle that way you don't have to buy a candle for love a candle for money a candle for business a candle for this a candle for that keep it simple by just getting one of these and it has all the colors you see it's multicolored, so you could tackle all the different areas in your life with all these colors another good example of a kind of like an all-around candle is this right here para todo. this is a candle for everything an all-purpose candle look at the symbolism this takes care of all the areas and again it's multicolored takes care of all all areas of your life fast luck abundance against uh mala de ojo uh peaceful home this is all the stuff you want for the new years right right abundance protection <coughs> oh, excuse me <clears throat> conquering love drawing in money okay it's all the good stuff. It's all the good shit that you want in the, in, in the new year. You want to draw on the stuff that you want, repel the shit that you don't want, and anything that has been thrown on you, you can take that, throw that shit right back. Okay? Um, if you have a marker, <clears throat> you can write down your petitions right here. If you're into sigils, you could put your sigils right here. Or you could just put success, or put your name, put your birth date whatever or you could just simply use um petition paper like parchment paper or a brown paper bag but again this one is a really good candle because for everything so again you don't have to be buying candles for this that whatever when you want to be cost effective and you have less than twenty dollars you could just simply get these candles okay and be sure to get uh, and you know what <clears throat> at the botanica they actually have an oil for this all-purpose oil okay and you can use that for all of these candles once you build up your collection of having different oils and different herbs and things like that you'll be able you'll know exactly what to dress this in and you just use the corresponding herbs of the things that you want to attract right <clears throat> So anyway, this completes the video. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, candle combination, uh, <clears throat> other candle combinations that you think would be helpful, be sure to let me know in the description box. But this right here, this is what I'm working with um, for the New Year's. <clears throat> you know, exactly. You want to come in to the New Year's refreshed. And ready to go, ready to receive all the blessings that you know that you deserve. Um, so just get all the corresponding oils that come with it. Usually, um, if you want to be well versed in oils and herbs, I suggest that you get the Anna Rivas book, the Book of Oils. I forgot what it's called, but it's from Anna Rivas, and I think it's the Book of Powerful Oils. And it has like over five hundred and fifty Anna Rivas oils. It's based off of her brand of oils. It's the best book on oils, literally the best book. It has over 550 different oils and its purposes. And the candles have the same title as the oils. The herbs have the same title. They all carry the same title. So you, that way you know what to get, right? When you go to the Botanica, right? So get that book. Oh, I think it's called, damn, I forgot what it's called. But I, all, I, all I know is it's, it's say Anna Rivas, um, Book of Powerful Oils, 
And then on the, it's like a gold book and it says like over 550 oils. Not only it tells you the oils and all of its purposes, but it tells you how to, how to use it. And it also, um, <clears throat> it also gives you some spells and recipes. So it'll, it'll tell you, it'll be like, okay, get this oil and then get the candle that goes with it. Get these herbs and then here's a prayer or here's an incantation. <clears throat> so it's a very good book for people who are... <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me for people who are beginners and novices of candle magic and they need a little bit of guidance so that they can know what they what what their aim is so that when they go to the botanica they're not like super overwhelmed and looking around like okay uh, okay keep it cost effective like i said all of these candles here Cost me under twenty dollars, nineteen dollars and nineteen cents, no more. I swear, and that's all I need to spend. And then this will take care of everything. You know, this will take care of everything. Say your songs, your your incantations, your affirmations, your mantras. Um, write down what you want. You know, like your manifestation journal. Uh, work on your visualization skills. Like your imagination has to be on point. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> mm. yes. So, exactly. So, um, yeah. So, that pretty much concludes the video. And so, this takes care of everything. And then, when January when January hits and everything gets marked down, like I said, stock up on all the New Year's Eve stuff. <clears throat> because you can still burn New Year's Eve candles. Uh, or you can still work with that New Year's energy for January and even February and March, okay? Because that's still the beginning of the year. Still a new year, okay? All right. So, again, if you guys have any questions, uh, questions, comments, you know, please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.